<coughs> project management, not an option for architects and engineers, but why project management remains so relevant in a complex and ever-changing world. For that, I would love to welcome Mrs. Grace Najjar, the Managing Director of PMI Middle East and North Africa. She was nominated for three consecutive years as one of the top 100 most powerful Arab women in the consulting and coaching sectors, featured by ITP Arabian Business, a lecturer in business and engineering school like St. Joseph University, Ecole Superieure des Affaires, a Polytechnico de Milan, a holder of bachelor degree in information technology and a master degree in system engineering from St. Joseph University in Beirut, and also a master degree in network telecommunication from the Telecom Paris Tech. Without further ado, welcome Grace, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Fadi, for having me. And thank you all who are able to join us today, locally and internationally. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Okay, I would like to kick off with a short video for the celebration of PMI 50th anniversary, the project economy. Great. 50 years ago, when PMI was founded, project management wasn't a thing yet. But thanks to a fearless group of visionaries and passionate project leaders like you, project management is now a global profession. Every day, everywhere, we transform ideas into reality. But the world of work is changing fast, really fast. So is our profession, and so is PMI. We are expanding our focus, broadening the stories we tell and the roles we play. From start to finish, from inputs to outcomes, from frameworks to whatever works. With your help, we are building a world where people have the skills and capabilities they need to deliver value, no matter what project they're working on. It's a world where organizations deliver value to stakeholders through successful completion of projects, delivery of products, and alignment to value streams. We call this world the project economy. And at PMI, we power the project economy. Strengthening society by enabling organizations and empowering people to turn ideas into reality. As we look ahead to our next 50 years, what role will you play? Hello again. Hi. Grace, how you. is PMI? Sorry. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's brilliant. I love it. And I wish you a happy birthday for the PMI worldwide. So again, I have a question. How is PMI, who has its own legacy, coping with the demands, technology, disruption, and multiple business and project needs, mainly now in the response to the COVID-19 crisis? The main question. Yes. So, well, since we're living in a fast and ever-changing environment with an increased complexity, with all the technological disruption, especially with the most recent pandemic crisis, PMI has felt compelled to accelerate the transition of its digital portfolio of products and solution and the online learning content and resources. So this includes the free online courses, such as Project Management for Beginners, Agile in the PMO and others. So most importantly, and due to the closure of the testing center, PMI has offered to take the PMP online with modality at home through the proctor monitoring while testing. So this along all our existing online exams, such as the CAPM, the Certified Associate in Project Management, and the ACP, the Agile Certified Practitioner. And to answer your question, about how we are coping with the various business demands, we at PMI produce yearly research, the pulse of the profession and the in-depth reports to integrate the voice of the customer and sense the market needs and provide an early perspective of the trends that have the highest potential to impact professionals from AI to automation to machine learning. So these research insights are then integrated within our products and solutions so we can shape them as we evolve. And since every professional is on a different career path and has different goals, our offerings are tailored to each segment, to each profile, and to each specific goal. So we leverage all our traditional offerings and the most innovative ones 
in order to give result-driven approaches to help professionals at all levels to be successful. So for example, those who are in need of PDUs, the professional development units, those who need to build their professional skills, the practices in project management, things that are beyond and that complement the PM book and our practice guides, and also those who are studying and preparing for the examinations. I'd like also to emphasize that as part of PMI, we have the projectmanagement.com, which creates an online global communities that deliver more resources, better tools, and even broader perspectives. And even pro it provides access to the virtual and on-demand events. So I highly recommend you visit the projectmanagement.com and the virtual resource hub, which we update as, as we continuously uh, are introducing more and more offering. And I also invite you to look and follow us on PMI, MENA, in order to learn more about the series of webinars we're launching, in which we will be discussing uh, in depth uh, the benefits of each product. And finally, it's also mentioning that PMI has recently launched a new e-commerce solution so that we can better improve the customer experience. Oh, wow. You, you took my last my last excuse the online training you took it because I, I was always having this excuse for me so now I you guess, don't have it right? <laughs> Chris, we know you are an engineer and a very active practitioner with subject matter expertise in a variety of industries and sectors and you have also been involved with the lebanese order of engineers as a member of scientific committee so how do you describe based on your experience uh the project management relevance to this particular profession. Why yes. an engineer needs project management and why it still matters to engineers and architects. Yes. As we all know, uh, project management has its own roots in construction, right? And engineers, they do embed project management in their role and in their DNA. So that said, both professions are naturally interlinked. They are all about results and turning ideas into reality. So they are both roaming around projects, program, value delivery, and products. So in other words, around the project economy. So whether we realize it or not, engineers, we do practice in our day-to-day -day life, planning, estimation, control, supervision, in addition to the integration of all the aspects and discipline of project management in order to deliver ultimate results and ultimate benefits. So engineering is by excellence the science that integrates all aspects of knowledge towards value, concepts like value engineering, like Lean, AWP, and others, they are all built to drive more excellence, similar to project, what project management education and practices are all about. So the relevance is really very high between those two professions. And even more, if you look at their evolution in time, uh, it does correlate. So as we're evolving in a more complex world, as you have just uh, kicked off this session, uh, a world that is impacted by fast changing environment, by the clients and delivery pressure, a high competition, the disruption of the profession. So engineers and architects who are mainly project managers felt the necessity to embed technology in their day-to-day -day, uh, work. Things like big data, sensors, the IoT in order to support their maintenance, the predictability analysis, the quality assurance and quality control. And they are also in need to introduce most innovative methods and agile approach in their ways of working, allowing them to cope better in a fast, fast and effective ways with aspects like compliance, environmental, water, safety regulations, security, the safety measures, earned value management and others. So that said, we come to realize that more than ever before, uh, before, engineers need to embed explicitly the project management aspects, especially the leadership aspects of this profession. The people skills, the conflict resolution, we call them the power skills. So PMI has highlighted in its talent triangle the fundamental skills of an effective project manager. So in addition to the technical knowledge of project management, project managers need to develop skills around business and strategic management, the leadership. So as we all know, uh, those are very much essential for engineers. I'll add to that our 2020 in-depth research reports highlighted the skills of project managers being a, a change maker. So uh, uh, who has the combination of 
the most in-demand skills, business skills, technical skills, digital and leadership. And those are built into our philosophy and certifications on what it takes to be a successful change maker. And the final point I'd like to make here is on why project management matters for engineers. Our research has demonstrated that professionals and organizations who have the highest maturity in project management outform, outperform those who have less maturity across multiple key project metrics. They are better at delivering the initial project goals, better to deliver on time, within budget, and with less project failure. So in summary, uh, the, the value proposition of project management is around finding ways to reduce the pain points within the organization and for the customers. And I do believe that those are the main driving uh, force of the engineers and architects, right? Of course. Uh, moving to sustainability. PMI would definitely, as you said, need to sustain to do so. Yes. So you need to reach out to the youth and younger generation. What's your strategy to attract those young engineers and architects? Very, very good. Great question, really. PMI has acknowledged the importance of attracting the youth and becoming more and more relevant to their needs and to help them develop talent needed in preparation to enter the workforce. We have currently the PMI Education Fund Foundation, the PMIF, whose focus is to make a greater impact and to provide increased value for the youth, as well as for the NGOs, which will ultimately benefit the, the community. And we have equally invested in our products and offering to attract the youth. For instance, one of the most relevant product is the Project Management Basics, which is the official PMI online course to build project management skills and help prepare for the CAPM certificate. And we recently launched the DA, the Discipline Agile Basics, which is not only relevant for youth, but for every professional who needs to build the Agile foundation skills. So this is a self-paced online course of 10 PDUs that shows how to use, how to choose the right Agile solution in every situation and in every uh, needed life cycle. So it helps professionals to achieve a new ways of working that help reach uh, better results. So that's the beginning of the path to mastering Agile. And we are also encouraging all our chapter to assign a dedicated youth role to better engage with the young generation. And the other strategic initiative that I would like to highlight during this session mm -hmm. is that we are, have supported a study thesis around the strategies to engage the youth with project management. The project was initiated by one of our master uh, degree intern. A survey was uh, carried out to assess uh, the youth knowledge and interest in project management and in PMI. And it was followed by a virtual competition, which is currently taking place. So for more details, I invite young engineers and professionals to check uh, out the PMI Lebanon chapter website under events. So in summary, we are envisioning more and more focus on youth and uh, we will be engaging in more collaborative effort with all our channels, universities, the youth foundation and all other associations to better engage with the youth and excite them to get more and more involved with project management. Uh, I assume this is a new role at PMI being a managing director for Middle East and North Africa. And uh, I also see happening a regionalization model. What does the community expect from that? Yes. Any direction to work closely with order of engineers, councils, association and others? And uh, what's your strategy moving forward to contribute more and collaborate further with these entities or in general? Yes. As you might know, uh, PMI's transformation uh, plan and strategy is to become more focused uh, more customer-centric and more market-relevant, right? And embed agility in its operation sure. and practices. So that said, the generalization model falls under this strategy to achieve uh, those goals. So we have built local teams with the right capabilities and resources, which allows us to focus more on the variety of stakeholders so that we can empower volunteers, chapters, organizations, government, universities, training providers and partners in order to develop and nurture the project management advocacy and ease the customer pain points. So far we have six chapters in the MENA region, 
Lebanon, Jordan, Tunisia, Morocco, Kingdom of Saudi, of Saudi Arabia, and United Arab Emirates. And we're looking into expanding in other countries. And to answer your questions around collaborating with other associations, our vision is to develop and engage further with the local societies and uh, also with these other stakeholders so that we can we maximize value for our members, our certificate uh, holders, and for the large community of professionals. So our focus and my personal uh, dedication is to collaborate with the Order of Engineers and Architects, with the Society and Institute of uh, Engineers and Architects and all other associations so that we can better serve this community and to sense their needs and further explore industry specific content we all believe that the pm book itself it cannot make us live for the other upcoming 50 years right so we're exploring things like lean construction management and awp and in closing our strategy is to be present not only in pmi's event but at other association platforms and discussion forums and to quote our president and ceo sunil prashara he foresees pmi as the association of associations that's good uh, mrs grace uh, what's your final word to the audience who is following or who is watching us right now so i believe pmi is reinforcing its commitment to advocate and develop the project management profession and to nurture a diverse uh, organization that helps individual to distinguish themselves in their careers and my final word to you and to to the audience is to encourage everyone to stay resilient in these difficult times and bear in mind that investing in learning and knowledge has proven to be uh, the main driving force for empowering individuals and organizations in challenging time and it increases our resilience to emerge even stronger and it's the best way to guarantee a high ROI and ensure our success. We will. Dear Grace, first of all, I want to thank you for this informative talk and I'm sure uh, all of who are watching this is this now have a better perspective about PMI and especially in the Middle East and North African region. Thank you and hope to see you in other topics as well and I wish you all the luck. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for all who watched this talk and if you like these talks, just like, share, comment, just to spread the knowledge, no more, no less. Thank you all and have a good night.